Okay, so we've all been there. You're driving down the road, mind your own business, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you look around, you're like, oh man, that was really loud, but uh, you don't see anything. You're like, oh dude, I made it, I'm safe. Then you pull into your driveway later that night and you notice out of the corner of your eye, rock chip. And you're like, God dang it. But you're like, oh, it's all right. I'll get it this weekend. I'll call Safe Flight. Somebody will come out, get it fixed. No big deal. Well, then that weekend turns into the next weekend, the next weekend. And before you know it, you forget about it. You're outside cleaning your car and your windshield cracks. And now you got to get a whole new windshield. That's happened to my wife in her car. Rock chip, broken windshield. We just replaced this windshield uh, last summer. I got a rock chip not too long ago. And I did not know this product exists, but it does. It's called windshield repair kit. I use it on my Jeep. Uh, the crack or the chip, I filled it with this product. I uh, didn't have any issues over this winter and it's still working strong. Now that she chipped her windshield that we just replaced last year, I'm like, you know what, dude, let's give it another go. Let's see how it works. But uh, considering that I didn't know this existed until uh, last year, I'm sure it's been out for a long time. I just want to see, let you guys know uh, that it's out there and how to use it. So the first thing we're going to do is clean the window. So what do I do? is I have perfect glass, you can use Windex, whatever you got, you know, glass cleaner, clean the area so you get all the grease, dirt, and salt, whatever is on your windshield off. Then also use the pin that comes in this kit or something small that you have to clean out all the glass shards you can get out of the chip itself. Then you're gonna mount the adhesive seal to the windshield with the crack in the middle. and remove the backing. After that, you're gonna mount the pedestal to the adhesive seal and make sure you line up the adhesive seal, making sure that the tab match is up. So you, there's a tab on the seal, you want that up towards your roof of your car, and there's a tab on the pedestal that you also want mounted up, matching that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna place the resin into the pedestal itself What you do is you cut the tip off the container, place the stem about a quarter inch into the pedestal opening, slowly squeeze the tube to release the resin into the pedestal. Uh, then you're going to connect the injector, this little syringe guy, to the pedestal and lock the plunger in a vacuum position. So you're going to place it in there, then you're going to pull back on the plunger and then using this little metal clip you're going to lock it in the vacuum position so it's pulling the vacuum on the resin in the pedestal uh, once you get that vacuum set in this in the pedestal you're just going to let that sit for 10 minutes and it's going to pull you know the air try to pull the air out of the out of the chip and let the resin kind of seep into the cracks so after you've let it sit for 10 minutes you're going to pull the injector out and let it fill with air and then you're going to stick it right back in and then you're going to move the plunger to the pressure position now Keep in mind, you don't need to have like 3,000 PSI into this plunger. You just need to push it down until it puts a little pressure on it. Trust me, when I was doing it on my Jeep, pushed a little too far, things went a little awry, and uh, this resin, uh, when it gets on your skin, it burns. So you're just going to put the plunger back in after you let it fill with air, push it down, and you're just going to let it just sit for another 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you're gonna remove the pedestal from the glass. So loosen the outer edges of the pedestal with that razor blade that we came with the package. Once the top part of the pedestal is sealed and broke away, then it removed from the glass surface. And you're just gonna pull the whole pedestal and the adhesive film away with it. After that, we're gonna do a pit filling procedure, which is a, what they call, what they call step 11 is the pit filling procedure. It's very scientific. What you're going to do is you're going to take this little plastic piece that came with the kit and you're going to put a little resin on it and you're just going to kind of set it over the chipped area where it has, you know, where the chip was and all the resins in there. You're just going to set it over top of it, kind of like if you were getting ready to prepare a slide to look through a microscope. This would be your cover glass, I guess you call it. You just put the little bit of resin on it and you let it fall. Just let it sit on top of the glass. pull these this little piece of plastic off then you're going to use this little razor blade 
and you're just going to kind of run it down the windshield and scrape off uh, the excess resin, leaving kind of a, it'll leave the, you know, a smooth surface and it'll look like nothing was ever there, or at least a lot better than it was, and it'll keep the window from cracking. All right, everybody. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial uh, helped you fix your windshield so you don't have to go out and replace one because nobody likes doing that. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe. If you didn't, thumbs down and let me know why. Uh, I'm always looking for you guys' feedback. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.